about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What's up guys, just on our way to Detroit we have a layover in Detroit and then we fly to North to Rochester for our game so we'll see you after always I got to sit beside this guy today I'm so pissed Travel the suit. It's four. I don't even know if it's four in the morning yet. Anyway, huge win for the Nighthawks this weekend. But it's like 4 a.m. Headed to the airport. Zero sleep. We don't sleep apparently. There he is. Friggin' joke. Hi, I'm Charles 55. Probably time to go on up there. You need to watch the monitor for my last. This one? Yeah. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> Just kidding. Hold on a sec. Alright. This <laughs> one? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? Luke here, um, Mango Mango Bongo. We just got back um, to, well we didn't get back, we just got to uh, Hunt Valley in Maryland where uh, the senior team stays for the week. Uh, the Hell Academy and they have their schedule coming up this week so pretty excited about that. The junior guys are just finishing up. Um, KJ and I, we played this weekend. We won in overtime, my man got the game winner and I took a shot that was 30 feet wide. Uh, you won't see that on highlights. You'll see the game winner. Anyways, uh, watch watch this clip. We'll have the uh, it's the box recap in uh, Georgia and Rochester of our game this week, which was the Twitter I don't know, game of the week. Make sure you check that out and give this video a thumbs up. It means way more than you think. Thank you for joining us for week 14 of The Box. We're here to talk about our Twitter game of the week, which sees the Georgia Swarm headed to Rochester to take on the Nighthawks. Now it's the third meeting between these two teams. The first time, though, that it is in Rochester. And Tyson, we'll start with Georgia um, because two big wins, winning in consecutive games against the Toronto Rock. Yes, that was absolutely crucial for the Georgia Swarm. I think their offense really started to come together and just gelled as a unit, and that was great to see. You got guys like Lyle Thompson and Miles Thompson starting to play like they can play. Randy Stott's doing a good job of feeding them the ball, but everyone's back in the lineup now, and that's going to mean big things for this team. Another thing that was great for them is that Mike Poulin had a really big bounce back performance after letting in kind of a soft goal to the Colorado Mammoth with only four seconds left to go. He comes back and only allows seven goals to the Toronto Rock. So he is a big part of that team. He has to be strong in between the pipes if they want to be making a playoff push. Speaking of playoff pushes, Rochester, they're hitting all the right notes themselves the last three games in particular. Joe Rezateritz has been amazing. He had a 14-point performance, if you remember, not too long ago. And also Cody Jamison, as Steve Priolo pointed out before their game against Rochester, he's back. And not just physically being back on the turf. He's back in terms of his form. Well, a couple weeks ago on Relax, we talked about Joe Rezateritz, and I took a step back, and I really wanted to see what has this guy done in the offseason that's made him so much better and more dominant as he's only two points away from his career high mm -hmm. in points, and we've still got so much of the season left to go. The answer? Yes. Cody Jamison. <laughs> this guy comes back in the lineup, and he makes everyone on his team a uh, bigger threat on the floor. You really see how he sells his shot from up top 
and feeds the ball. He's got great vision, great lacrosse IQ, and I think that's a big reason why Joe Rezateritz is putting up the numbers that he has been putting up. Kyle Jackson also, in his sophomore year, one goal away from matching his season total from last year, and I would uh, reckon that that has something to do with Mr. Jameson being back as well. The last two times that these two teams met, neither team had less than six goal scorers on each occasion. So, along with the stars that we just mentioned, the supporting cast, equally as important in this game, which you can watch on Twitter at live.twitter.com. It is our Twitter game of the week. That is at 7 to 30 p.m. Eastern Time, Saturday, March 10th. That was quite the mouthful. Last two times that these two teams met.